You have marriage flying out. Okay. The features are born from November 30th to December 18th. Okay. And all information looking for is in the description box down below. All the voodoo process services I provide in the description box down below next to the butterfly. Thank you for supporting Psychic Sid. Check out my latest voodoo chidaga dance. Right? You have longing and independence. All right. You also have Divine Feminine that just flew out. <laughs> Could be done with a Taurus or a Libra. Okay. You have Soul Searching. All right. You have cards flying out. Goodness gracious. You have Quality Time. You have Divine Masculine. Communication. Hidden truth. The hidden energy is self-love. Okay. So, Ophetius. I see you receiving a lot of um, communication if you're the feminine energy. It's all receptive energy. Like you're receptive to the universe. I feel like you're open to whatever the universe feels is right for you. You're also very independent. You're on your own like journey. Somebody will be spending time with you, quality time with you, um, and asking to spend this time with you. It's a masculine energy. You may be married or someone looks at you as if you are marriage material. Like they would want you to be like their wife, okay? Or their husband. Oh, we have divine feminine and divine masculine coming out together. I've never had them come out together before. A lot of communication. I feel like this takes you by surprise because you're focused on you. Her whole demeanor is facing like a completely different direction. Like she's just focused on herself, loving herself. Even the divine feminine is still looking in another direction. She's just focused on herself. And he's looking at her. Okay. Let's see. Future for Ophetius. There's the Empress, Taurus Libra. Oh, guess that's a sign. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Taurus Libra, energy, Empress, okay. So if you are single, if you're like a single masculine energy, um, you see the value of a feminine energy. Yeah, she's like the sun. Many of you, if you're in the feminine energy, someone views you as like wife material. Also, you're a business owner, a CEO, an entrepreneur. You work from home or you could be like a musician. Maybe you work with money or law, legality. Some of you, like many of you work in the entertainment industry, you're famous, the son, you're pregnant with a boy, someone's pregnant with a boy. You also love your job, son, empress. Yeah. You love your job, you may live in a hot climate. I feel like you look very sexy, very attractive during this time. The number 21 is here, which breaks down into three. Um, you're also very funny. Your love literally extends other people's lifespans. If you're the feminine energy and you're single, you're just receptive to joy. You're aware that joy is coming from your soul. S-O-L is what the sun is. S-O-L. The soul. It's coming from your soul. You're shining bright like the sun. Like you're shining so bright. Like the, the, the thing about the sun is the sun is going to rise and shine whether somebody likes it or not. It doesn't care. That's its job. You've become very accountable. You are a grown woman with the Empress. Everybody wants to be around you. Everybody wants to talk to you. Everybody wants to be with you in a relationship. And I feel like you're very um, positive moving forward to the future. You feel very good. Um, you have a lot of value. People look at you as you're very valuable in a high ranking position. You may be a mother. Ooh, my nose is itching. 
or you'll be the mother of someone's children within the next year, okay? Two of swords. You also have the hermit. He just flew out. Two of swords is in reverse moon in Libra. You have hermit Virgo. Many of you are teachers, maybe you're counselors. Um, your heart has opened moon and Libra. Like, I don't see you, if, as the empress, the empress is quality. So she doesn't just deal with anybody. No, 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 that's not the empress. The empress only gives to what reciprocates to her. Okay? With the two of swords in reverse, you see clearly where you're moving forward. You see clearly what brings you joy within yourself. There's also, um, if you're in a relationship, your significant other is like um, becoming in love with you all over again. Okay? These you as very attractive, can't really keep their hands off of you. Believes that you're like, you're very gorgeous. Okay? Um, if you're single, you're having love at first sight with a Virgo. Somebody who is a deeply spiritual, intellectual connection that grows into more. Started as friendship and then it becomes more. With the Empress, this is a one where it's like, if you ever heard the phrase, every man has a good woman in them, that's the Empress. You know, that with every man, every successful man, you'll see some woman in the background. That could be his mother, that could be someone in his family, that could be his wife, his girlfriend, anybody. That is the empress, right? It could be his mother. It could be someone who's nurtured him like a mother, his sister. It could be his wife, right? His girlfriend. That's the empress. She's every queen just rolled up into one. She has learned all her lessons. Now, what does it take to be an empress? You have to go through pain. You have a new belief system based off of what you experienced. And that it's not about um, experiencing something and allowing that to be your demise. But instead, allowing that to be your strength. Because you've experienced something, you are that much more aware of what to do, what not to do. Many of you will be spending quality time with someone that it will actually end up in marriage with, okay? Yeah, you guys start as friends and it becomes more, um, if you are in a relationship, your significant other, the masculine energy has been spending more time away from you in a relationship, spending time by themselves. I see you also, you're meditating more, you're spending more time in nature, you're watching biographies, you're listening to frequencies, you're eating better, you could be meditating and doing yoga, very um, focused on like your health. It's a very healthy woman. Healthy, why did I say like that? Healthy, healthy. Someone likes the way you talk. Very the feminine energy, somebody likes the way that you talk. The sun, Leo, because you communicate from the heart. The Empress always communicates from the heart. Now, for that to be coming out for you, Ophetius, um, it will be signifying that there's something very important that you've learned not only about self-love, right? She's on the track here, and it's really about staying in your lane, right? People don't really, and then right underneath that, you have engagement. So some of you are definitely, I mean, I see you getting engaged. Uh, someone got a ring. Um, congratulations. I see you saying yes. Yay, yes. <laughs> um, they appreciate you. They see your value because you are the empress. But what people don't really realize about that particular sport is it's single-minded. So what does that mean? That means that if you wake up that day and you're feeling sick, the show goes on. What does that mean? That means everybody's race still goes on, it still moves forward. Nobody's day stops because you're sick or because you sprained your ankle or because you're injured or whatever. There will be people there that day that PR. There will be people there that qualify. There will be people there who go to the championship. There will be people there that win the championship. Right? It's a single mind. Even if you're in a relay, you pop up one day and you're not feeling well that day, there's someone else to take your spot. 
that's the real world right that's the reality of it and it's about you putting yourself first that's what you're really focusing on you're like i'm putting myself first and there's this awareness it's not just um spiritual for you it's also biological where you're like i don't want to waste my time on people during the years where i you know during the years where you are capable of having children during the years you're capable of being um more applicable to get into a relationship or a commitment you know you don't want to waste your years okay you hear about women who are with people for years and that person never even decides to be in a relationship with them you're like no 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 that's because you know your value the empress won't be in third party she won't be in anything that is confusing is it confusing is the relationship and dynamic you have with someone confusing then it's not love don't try to confuse yourself don't try to make it more than what it is okay because everybody does but not everybody lives that is very true don't try to make something more than what it may be it's single minded almost like when you're evolving when you get to this point when you get to this point it's no longer and the empress actually she outranks the the hermit on some level um when you get to this point of the empress hold on because i can hear that he's having a nightmare okay baby when you get to be the empress and she outranks the hermit um because when you get to the hermit that's like you've just become like you walked into this path now being able to teach what you learned with the empress is more so of unconditional love being able to manifest from your highest vibration of feminine energy this woman gives life that's different way that that's why it's a higher ascension because she, there's a portal between her legs literally once you get to the high priestess this is someone who abstains from sex until they're in an official relationship she's got spirit flying all around her that's not necessarily somebody that you want to harm either with the high priestess with the moon and virgo energy that's the energy of someone who's dealing with entities and spirit on a day-to-day -day. so although they may not like drama they may like might not like chaos they stick to themselves they focus on themselves and they don't believe that they are in control of karma their spiritual team has something else to say their spiritual team interferes in their um in their daily life to make sure that they're always on the right path you don't want to hurt or harm somebody who's dealing with entities you cannot see. That's probably the stupidest thing that you could do. That's why she outranks the Empress. The Empress is a signification of love. The High Priestess moves it into psychic, moon, Virgo, work. Psychic, work. But also that there is a special form of relationship to spirit that is on a routine and on a daily and then you move and you keep ascending and you keep ascending essentially but the point is it's a single mindset within you you know that you're only in control of you and that is what brought you a lot of self-love the empress is someone who's ready for commitment relationship marriage or is or is already married okay i feel like you're really happy you're at peace okay is at the bottom of the deck <laughs> your advice is be open to learning something new um, from a breakup that will be happening in the next 11 days or in the next day I feel like what you've learned um, is you've learned from unrequited love you've learned from not loving yourself how to rise above from that now it's overflowing 
Your advice is to sever ties with stagnancy and pessimism. Many of you are also not having sex, hangman. You may have erectile dysfunction in a relationship. Do not lie. Page of Wands in reverse. That's a very that's very immature, but that's also like um, someone someone has a child um, from another relationship or something like that. Don't be negative. Okay, realize that all the things that you see other people be able to bring into fruition and manifest, it's just showing you it's possible. That's all it's supposed to show you is that it's perfectly possible to bring into fruition. Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarius is um, severing of ties. You know, many of you are severing ties with someone who kept you stagnant due to their own negativity, due to their own immaturity. Due to their own anger, due to their own promiscuity, page of wands in reverse. Um, due to them playing mind games, manipulating with the five of swords. They did whatever it took to win. You, um, your advice is sever ties with someone who is hell-bent on trying to keep you stagnant. Due to them feeling like you achieving any form of greatness just highlights their own weakness, their own inadequacy, their own lack of self-love. Your advice is um, look differently at how you think and how you imagine. Realize it's also connected to what you believe. Sever ties with beliefs, like belief systems that have kept you stuck, kept you negative. Be willing to learn something new spiritually, maybe even ecclesiastically. This could be church, okay? Um, yes. Let's get you advice. Um, be aware that many of you are realizing one of the things that you want in a relationship rather you know it or not um you may be finding this out during this video um you're going through a lot of um temperance the number five you know when someone's lying um you're going through a lot of chaos a lot of with the the number five a lot of chaos a lot of drama um What you want in a relationship is to know that in that connection or relationship, it's teaching you something about yourself as well as it's teaching something to the person you're in that relationship with. It teaches you to better love yourself as well as it's teaching them to better love themselves. As well as with some friends, um, be patient with yourself. Yeah, a tree. Someone else had this. Be patient with yourself. A tree takes forever to grow, but just be patient with yourself. Okay? She's got the moon in her hand. It almost looks like you're, it's like a smile. Like you have a lot of joy in your life. You may work in beauty or fashion. I feel like um, the advice is to, um, this person may not even communicate with the page of wands. They just sort of like blatantly watch you or sit there with the hangman or they just don't move. Um, this person purposely does this. They purposely just don't say anything. They purposely don't move. They purposely don't flirt. They purposely just don't, okay? It's intentional. It's meant to harm you, okay? five of swords but the thing is all it has done is actually kept them stagnant five of swords it's kept them stagnant okay and they're not able to manifest anything that they want in their life so your advice is to realize you cannot take on 
someone else's projection. Okay? You just can't do that. Someone purposely, um, with the page of wands in reverse, they uh, purposely are negative or they purposely, you know, they don't say anything at all. Um, they purposely, you know, they just, they don't like, the page is like a child. They don't like that com that compared to the empress, they are they are no match. You know how much it takes to get to the empress? A page is like a child. Like, I mean, it's like someone who's childish. It doesn't matter their age, okay? Knights are in their 20s. Kings, you know, that's sort of like 30s. Emperor, 40s. Um, that's when he's at the, you know, hierarchy of the family. This page is somebody, like, listen. No, someone feels, uh, honestly, it doesn't, it's, it's the vibration they are willingly deciding to sit in. They don't have to sit in that energy. You don't have to be a particular age to be in a particular vibration. Do you get what I'm saying? My Chiron is in Libra in the 12 signs. And in the 13 signs, my Chiron is in Virgo. And I'm 24. And I'm coming out here as the Empress. It, you don't have to be a particular age to represent a particular vibration is what I'm trying to tell you. Do you get what I'm saying? You could be any age. It's a perspective. Be mature. Page of wands in reverse. Be honest. Okay? Believe in karma for crying out loud. Okay? That's how you receive abundance. This woman knows what she gives out to the world will come back. You cannot give with a closed heart. So that's why she gives with an open heart. She doesn't give with expectation of something in return, but she's also well aware I'm not gonna give from my well, I'm not gonna give my water to another well repeatedly and that well is not giving anything to my well. That wouldn't make any sense because eventually there'd be nothing left in that well. That is how, when you're aware of this, you don't end up in connections and relationships where another person does not love themselves. What does that mean? She knows how she pours into herself. Now, if she didn't, if she didn't pour into herself and she ended up in a relationship, right? Now what she's attracted is someone who doesn't love themselves either. Now she's got a well, this person's got a well, right? Now, of course, everything's good. Everything's good, right? Everything's pouring. She's drinking from her well. He's drinking from his well. Eventually, though, you want some water from the other person's well, right? You want to interact with this person emotionally, mentally, spiritually, sexually, financially, physically, whatever it may be. This is pouring into each other's well, right? But the self-love is what fills up that the self-love is the water that fills up your own well. So if you're continuously giving love to somebody, right? You just keep giving love to somebody. Rather than someone quiet and they're not giving any back, eventually you'll be drained. Rather you're giving them a bunch of water and you don't love yourself, eventually you'll be drained. So what do you do? You love yourself first. So you attract someone who loves themselves first too. So when you give from your well, they will give right back. They don't see you loving yourself as a threat. That's abusive. People who see you loving yourself as a threat to their own complex of, you know, inadequacy and low self-esteem. I feel like you realize you've been trying to make other people feel better about themselves. Okay? Rather, it's men, women, people, places, and things. You've been trying to make other people feel good about themselves. Right? Even though you might just be hyping them up. They may not be necessarily making you feel that way, right? They, you might be just hyping them up, you know, um, not wanting conflict, right? You may have been somebody who, when you would communicate, it was like you would give to someone because you were hoping you would get it back, right? Hold on, Roka is awake. Again, well, I mean, he's not awake, really. He's technically barking in his sleep. But what I'm saying is, the point is, is like, with the Empress, it's, it's like uh, the Two of Swords. This is also when you're like blinded, right? Um, 
it's when you are scared of saying something because you think it'll offend somebody. So, right, you had been giving and giving and giving. You're like, I'm the empress. I'm just giving love. And you're like, no, you make me feel like this. You make me feel so good, so great, so kind, right? Then all of a sudden, somebody changes. Right? And you're like, okay, you no longer are making me feel like that. Instead of acting as if you don't see it, instead of just not saying anything, hoping everything gets better, being a stalemate, You've opened your heart up to realize, no, you don't want those types of connections and relationships where I can't be open with how I feel. Because if I tell you how I'm feeling, you'll pretend you're offended and try to gaslight me. And I just don't have that type of time or patience. No one does. No one deserves that as a human being. There is a looking at this where like now you know when people lie. Now you know when people are players. Now you know, okay? And that's why you get new love, the sun. People are looking up to you as someone who's very, very strong. Also, um, be aware. Someone is going through karma, they're going to go through a rape, a murder, a crime, a divorce, or a breakup. It's also a part of the advice. Be aware that you're going to have to look at that type of experience differently in order to change your pessimism and learn something new from the drama and the chaos of which you experience. That led to a lack of self-love in the first place and led you to thinking that unrequited love was something that you would ever 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 be able to deal with long term okay that has been released <laughs> that has definitely been released if you are in a connection or a relationship um it's very boring okay like i'm gonna be straight with you there's uh no sex there's no intimacy in the relationship and there's like uh, a feeling like, oh, I want to go after other love options, but I can't because I'm in this relationship. Okay. You don't want to be in a relationship. Be honest with that. You know, be honest with the person because they deserve somebody who does. Who does want to be in a relationship and in a connection. Okay. Don't lie about it. There's no point in that. I mean, you know. Um, and if somebody is just not saying anything, they're keeping themselves stuck. They sabotage the connection. They fumbled the bag, which was the empress. They didn't want happiness. They didn't want joy because of their own issues and their own problems. You recognize with temperance that that was actually a blessing in disguise. Because if that person never removed themselves, you would have never gotten this new love. <laughs> I'm serious. You got to think of it like that. The person never removed them. So how would there have been energetic space for the person of your dreams? There wouldn't have been. Also, you're complacent with work. Stop being complacent with work. Do something you've never done before. Why, why keep doing the same thing over and over again? Hmm? Don't focus on the fact that you're sick of people asking you, why are you single? Okay, as well. Because the truth of the matter is, while you're single, enjoy it to the fullest. I'm so serious. Like, I, I myself am single, and I'm enjoying it right now to the absolute fullest. Because I know when I get into a relationship, that relationship will lead to marriage and long-term commitment and all these different things. So enjoy it while you have it. There are some people who are in relationships and marriages and commitments that they're not even really happy in. It just looks good to other people, but they're not happy. So be honest with yourself. You deserve the absolute best. Don't sacrifice yourself. Don't sacrifice yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's your advice. Very interesting. Um, this actually sort of looks like a ring, doesn't it? Just a little bit. It's interesting. 
This has been your reading. This has been your reading, Ophetius, Ophifi. All the voodoo products and services that you're looking for in the description box down below. Many of you are famous as well and you work with children. Your first child will be a boy. Even if it's multiple children, the first child that would come out would be a boy. Yeah. Your advice is to, for some of you, break up or divorce somebody. But you would know, you know, if that was something you truly wanted to do. For many of you, you went through infidelity. There's no sex. There's erectile dysfunction. And there's a lot of mind games and manipulation and gaslighting going on. Okay? And it doesn't even, it, it could be someone you're in a relationship with. It could be anybody you know. Your advice is sever ties with this person. Learn the lesson from it and move on. Seriously. Um, you could also be like an angel intuitive. Uh, if you own a spiritual business, it's run very morally. You're also meeting someone who does the same thing as you. So if you're a counselor, they're a counselor. You're a teacher, they're a teacher. Um, you're in the same constitution, institution, foundation, church, service, fraternity or sorority as them. I'm also seeing that there's Scorpio energy here. Okay, Aquarius energy. All right. It's going to also be Aries. Um, this has been your reading. Be patient with yourself. Okay. And be aware that the reason you've gone through what you've gone through was to learn joy. Okay. To become more enlightened. The sun. That's enlightenment. See, her head is on fire. Yesterday, when I was doing the Chautauqua um, dance, I'd go check that out if I were you guys, the little Chautauqua dance I did. Um, I did that gratitude ritual because um, two or three, I don't even think it was three days ago, maybe two days ago, um, I was just sleeping and I got like $9,000 for doing nothing. Um, and so I was like, oh my God, like I'm so grateful. Before that, I was just praying, just saying like I was really grateful and thank you so much. And I decided I was going to do the gratitude ritual for you guys to share in the abundance of, you know, everything that I was able to magically manifest, essentially. Um, I was, I used, you know, voodoo. I used me. <laughs> I'm good at what I do. And I love to do Chautauqua dance, um, you know, voodoo dance for you guys, for the general collective because there are some people during this time that they just need hope you know they need um a safe place and i'd hope that that would be a place that you know um you are able to find here at psychic sid um and just to be able to bring some joy you know we live in a very dark world where sometimes we get so lost in what we think we're longing for right what what we can't see that we forget rights in front what is right in front of us we forget it's about our soul and so i wanted to spread joy to some of you guys um i know a lot of people during this time who are going through money troubles who may you know who are not as fortunate and so um i wanted to be able to you know um share a ritual that would hopefully help you in whatever you're trying to manifest during this time i hope all your desires and wants that you know are completely directed towards you and you know centered in free will and positivity and discernment i hope they all come true for you um yeah it was actually the red candle i used i had i know you guys saw the red candle i used that one was a ritual and that was what brought in all the money um and just me putting out good karma she knows what she gives out comes back that's the libra energy karma not all karma is bad, but Taurus energy was the fact that money came in, Taurus, Libra. So um, for many of you, you're master manifestors because you love what you do. I wouldn't be successful at this, this, uh, this company, this business, what I do, what I own, unless I love what I do. I wouldn't be successful. It will be written all over my face. People don't realize I have Mercury and Venus and Leo. Mm -mm. that's a combination where although I, it's very difficult for me to say to stay sad or down because it's the sun right it's also an energy of almost like 
everything is visible it's the sun you can't miss it so right so when i don't feel happy when i don't feel like i don't i don't like something or i don't like someone is written all over my face that's a leo leos can't really hide how they're feeling Leo represents the drama and the theater and you, what do actors do, right? I know you've seen, you know, the different um, different things that actors have had to do, right? Rather with, with training, different facial expressions, sad, mad, da, da, da. Leo does it naturally. I'm very well aware of that. Um, you want to, you're acknowledging the fact that joy is not something to just be seen on the outside, but also on the inside. You're not pretending to be anything or anyone. You know what I mean? Um, that was something I became aware of only because I had those Leo placements. It forced me. Because when you have a Venus and Leo, that's like, the celebrities I've had, Venus and Leo are Michael Jackson. Madonna, Whitney Houston, Amy Winehouse, Solange, Jennifer Lawrence, ASAP Rocky. What do all these people have in common? They have experienced um, scandals in public. Like they've experienced really, really big highs and really low, low lows. And it was because also you can see it all written all over them wherever the Leo energy is. You can just see it. Leo impacts the ego, but it's also your heart. So this is doing what your heart is guided to do, which is love yourself. You may also have a son. It's a very beautiful son. I see you taking care of your son or nursing your son. You're like, oh my God, you have like a rattle in one hand, a baby formula in the other. And you're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but I see you're very patient. You're being very patient. Um, yeah. Be willing to learn something new spiritually. Not all spirituality is bad, okay? Um, I myself, I get highly judged for my own spirituality, my own belief systems. Um, I pray to many different, uh, you know, ancestors, spirit guides of the light, deceased loved ones of the light, uh, galactic ancestors of the light, holy guardian angels of the light. Many people are part of my spiritual team. One of the things that you should be aware of, right? um with this energy is you do not know who someone prays to so when i say someone may not do something but their spiritual team might that's what i'm saying you don't know who someone prays to you don't know what type of gods and goddesses and entities and whatever they may use to manifest the abundance that they have in their life and you must be aware that if they work with them on a daily right rather it's their work or rather they're just a highly spiritual person those entities become they don't just work with anybody so if they're working with that person it's because they love that person it becomes their duty to protect that person so if you harm that person you gaslight that person you steal from that person you cheat on that person the likelihood of the karma that you receive will have nothing to do with the person that you've done it to I'm telling you, it'll be like, I've seen it happen to people where it's like they hurt somebody who may be very spiritual or does spiritual work and then their whole life falls apart. Car breaks down, um, you know, they get injured. Somebody, you know, may unfortunately like uh, even pass away. Like bad things begin to happen. And it has nothing to do with the person they did it to. It has to do with the spiritual team seeing what that person did. Do you get what I'm saying? The spiritual team saw everything. Spirit sees everything. You have to be aware of how you treat people. She knows what she gives is what comes back. And she does that where she gives as much good as she can to receive it back because she doesn't know who you're praying to. This is a serious thing. You don't know. If people knew who I prayed to, they'd be like, oh my God. Seriously, you don't know what extent those spiritual entities will go to protect somebody that's like when you're trying to go see something or see someone or whatever and you do them dirty and all of a sudden your car crashes that type of shit. 
Like, well, why would it do that? Well, you were on the way to go see somebody you did dirty. You were on the way to go see somebody that you had ill intention for. You thought spirit wasn't going to do anything? Don't. Don't. That's some. Those are people you don't want to harm, is what I'm saying. It's just not smart. You get what I'm saying? Um, be aware of that. Just be aware that you don't know the type of level of uh, spiritual rank or power someone has. You know? Um, yeah. <laughs> Give what you want to have come back. Seriously, this is all of like, there's a lot of karmic uh, law happening to people where they're not realizing like, just because someone's compassionate and kind and full of love and light, it doesn't mean you can disrespect them, harm them, or use them. Because even if they don't do something, trust me, the universe will. It's almost like how in my lifetime, I've given out loads of money to people, right? And I've always given without, you know, expectation of something in return, I was giving out of the goodness of my heart. And because of that, money comes to me very easily. That's the Nigerian way that you give without expectation of anything in return. It's what I was taught. It's what I believe. And because of that, abundance always finds me. Does the money necessarily have to come from the person that may have asked for money from me and never paid me back? No. I have tons of people who have never paid me back and they owe me thousands. Thousands. Okay? The point is the money came from other resources, other places in my life because of the good I was putting out. So be aware that just because someone treats you bad, right, and you're putting out good karma, it can be, you know, you're, you're putting out good deeds. It can be that your reward is someone brand new that won't treat you like that. The reward is you meet someone that shows you that love is possible, that a connection is possible, that not everybody's the same, okay? That it's okay to unconditionally love yourself and it's okay for you to love again another person. I was saying this in the Chitaka dance of uh, voodoo ritual I just did though. Um, I felt like Mother Mary, I saw like lights shooting out of her head when I was doing the, um, the voodoo ritual. Many of your bodies very healthy, very pure as well. And you are speaking your truth loud and proud and you're living it too. You're also open to dating new people. You're just moving forward in your life and being happy. Yeah. Especially if you're single. Many people are all over you. It's like bees to honey. Can't get enough of you. This is your reading. Um, you're also drop dead gorgeous with the empress here. Okay. Because it's not advice. This is actual truth of what will be happening for you in your future. All the voodoo products and services I provide are in the description box down below. I said the high priestess could actually see the number two down here. That's why I said, be careful who you harm. You don't know who people are praying to. Like, that's a serious thing. It's not, that's, like, that's what I'm saying. Kindness costs zero dollars. It's free to give kindness. Don't harm people who talk to entities you cannot see. That would be the stupidest thing that you could do. <laughs> like, that wouldn't even make any sense. Don't do that. Because we're not talking about some Scooby-Doo mess. You pull off the sheet and all of a sudden it's a trick. No, we're talking about entities you cannot see. And although this person may, you know, just be a kind individual and they're focusing on themselves and they're moving forward in their life, be aware that their spiritual team, she has no control over them. Never has and never will be able to control them. Ever. They can't control her. She can't control them. Their job is to protect that individual so if you harm them they will put her first and they will do what is necessary to you to make sure that you cannot cause any more harm to the person they're protecting that's their job that looks like your money your pockets being hit why would your pockets get hit so you can't see the person all of a sudden, you don't have any money on. You can't keep money to save your life. All of a sudden, your car breaks down. You can't go see them. All of a sudden, it's like, it's bad karma. I'm telling you, if you really want, like, true advice, that's some real advice. Don't do that to people. We really don't know who people pray to. 
You have no idea. And people want to say, well, this is right religiously. This is right religiously. Nobody knows what the right answer is. So you can't say that another person's religion and spirituality is wrong. You can't say that the entities and the spiritual beings that they believe in are not real. And hell, from the abundance and the blessings that they're seeing, you cannot tell them that they're not real. From the karma that they've seen being done to other people due to what they've you know, inflicted on the person who's being protected, you can't tell that person that those entities don't, don't exist. You cannot tell them that. I've had plenty of people do me wrong and all of a sudden their lives fall apart. And I'm like, I can't fix that. I can't fix the fact that you're in a, a relationship you're miserable in. I can't fix the fact that you have to drink yourself to death in order to go to sleep at night because you're not happy with your life. I can't help the fact that you don't have any money. Can't help the fact your car breaks down. Can't help the fact, can't help the fact, can't help the fact. Yet I can't pray for you anymore. It's your mother's job to pray for you. It, it's their job. Can't do it anymore. This has been your reading, Ophetius. Congratulations to this new beginning in your life. Not everyone's going to be happy. I don't think you really care at all, to be honest. The Empress does not care about, I mean, it's a page. It's your major arcana. Wouldn't even make any sense. You know what I mean? All the movie products and services I provide in the description box down below. Thank you so much for supporting Psychic Extent. And for those of you that are getting engaged, congratulations. It was your self-love that brought in this new love. Okay? Some of you who are single, you're just meeting the person you always meant to meet. Congrats. Ashe! <laughs>